Part one of step two is to drill holes in the clear Lexan material. Your child's toys will be hung from these holes. In terms of plastic, it is better to avoid plexiglass because it is more likely to break while drilling or while your child is banging on it. That is why Lexan is used for the sealing of the PPS. Here Molly places the Lexan sheet onto a large piece of cardboard to protect the floor. She then measures inward three inches from the corners. Teachers and aides prefer placing some of a child's toys as close to the corners of the Perkins play space as possible. This acts to increase the distance a child must reach, thereby increasing their self-confidence and strength. Although Molly uses an electric drill to make the holes, a hand drill works just as well. After you are done with the corners, holes can be drilled anywhere on the Lexan sheet. It is good to make a good number of holes distributed evenly around the Lexan surface such that many toys can be used. In the next step, we will begin to construct the walls of the PPS.